In Durham Public Schools, we understand the importance of nurturing not only the academic growth, but also the social and emotional development of our students. That's why we've integrated a comprehensive social-emotional learning curriculum into our schools. So SEL really teaches our students about their emotions. It, we really focus on the five competencies, right? So self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship skills, um, and decision-making. I think it teaches them strategies to deal with stress and anxiety and peer conflict. Well, I just like how it allows me to understand how other people feel and also kind of understand how I feel sometimes. It's taught students that it's okay if they're not having an amazing time all day, every day. It's all right if they get frustrated. It's all right if they're struggling um, with something outside of class during the school day and that they can talk about it and express it with their friends and use the common language to all feel like connected and more supported as a classroom. As students transition into middle or high school, social-emotional learning remains a vital component of their education. Adolescence brings its own set of challenges and SEL provides adolescents with the tools they need to navigate these turbulent years successfully. SEL is a really good way to express your emotions, not only with your peers, but with your teachers, your social workers, everybody around school. I feel like once you like get with SEL or start having SEL lessons, you open up more up to different things. So when you talk about your career, what do you want to do? What is my boundaries for this career? Why do I want to do this career? So it will just open your mind up to like a lot of things. I think the kids are a lot more friendly to each other. They feel a lot more comfortable talking. And it may not be every concept in the book, but they do a lot better with leaning on each other. They do a lot better with asking a neighbor instead of coming to me. And kind of building those relationships and that rapport with other students has improved a lot in the last few months. Let me say, discipline has went down. We had one of the most highest discipline um, suspension rates in the district this year it is extremely lower um, and I have to think that it's because of the programs, because of the lessons. Social emotional learning isn't just a program, it's a fundamental part of our larger strategic plan for student success. So our Durham Public Schools community and our greater Durham community uh, truly believe in social emotional learning and supporting the whole child. Um, that's identified in priority two of this current strategic plan where we expect all schools to implement a research-based social-emotional learning curriculum with fidelity. In Durham Public Schools, we believe that by investing in social-emotional learning, we're investing in the future of our students and our community. Together, we're shaping resilient, compassionate, and empowered individuals who will lead the way to a brighter future.